And well, chances are you've probably answered the door several times tonight for trick-or-treaters. Well, in one Worcester neighborhood, all the little goats and goblins gathered for candy and some other Halloween treats in one spot. Our Jennifer Zarate has a look at Halloween at Union Hill. Happy Halloween! Hundreds of kids along with their parents are trick-or-treating at Oak Hill CDC's second annual Union Halloween. We're here to get candy and we're here to say trick-or-treat. Worcester officer and Oak Hill CDC board member Sean Lovely started the event last year to offer candy to kids living in Union Hill where Lovely says there aren't enough houses giving out treats. I ended up starting out last year with about 500 people that showed up and I figured the second annual year we went around. Um, we've got thousands and thousands of pieces of candy all donated. Everything, every stand here is manned by a volunteer. Lovely says Worcester police notified five schools instead of one this year. You know, Sean put this together so the kids could be here and, you know, get as much candy as they can. How have you gone around so far? Um, four. People in the community have also taken part in the event, showing support for Officer oh Lovely. It feels great to, to be part of something like this. Um, you know, we, we originally were going to come down with the lights, but I actually brought a couple of hundred pieces of candy to pass out to the kids as well. We're just here to help Officer Lovely. You know, Sean has uh, had the brainstorm to have this operation uh, for two years now. And um, anything that we can do to support his efforts to reach out to the Union Hill neighborhood is, uh, is something that we take a lot of pride in. Parents say it's great to see police create a safe environment where they can bring their kids. I think it's amazing that they're here and the kids can see that and it's good for the kids to know that there's positive things that are out there. It's great to see all the kids all getting along. My kids were just having so much fun seeing all the different costumes and all the different kids having fun. Lovely says he hopes this experience will leave a lasting impact on these children's lives. I want to see this become an, an ongoing event and hopefully, um, you know, this might give people an incentive to donate and hopefully uh, if it grows, uh, hopefully get more children and at the end it's the children who win. On top of all the sugars and sweets they got, there was also a stand promoting dental hygiene. Back to you, Andy. It certainly looked like a sweet time out there. Jennifer Zarate reporting for us tonight. Jennifer.